here with you and today I'm here for the use it use your stash or scraps um, card making video and I want to start off by showing you what I got from Karen Sumner she sent me this beautiful beautiful little card but it's actually a little pocket and she knows how much I love seeds and she sent me morning glory seeds I can't wait to uh, to put these into ground for the um, summertime and she also sent a bunch of different little um, die cuts and, and uh, little stickers this is a little uh, sticker and there's more here little Valentine's I just thought it was so cute and I wanted to share it with you guys because I was super happy I love it it's very very pretty yeah very very pretty so wanted to share that with you guys so today uh, we're going to be as I mentioned in my video yesterday we're going to be making postcards and the reason we're going to be making postcard is because my giveaway is coming soon if I can finish my journals but in the meantime it gives you guys some chance be to get prepared be or to send in your entries already uh, so basically I will do like I did last time uh, which is people that want to go in for the big prizes have to mail me a postcard to the PO box that's in the description box below and I'm doing a postcard because it's something inexpensive for people to send um, and I wanted to share with you how inexpensive it can be to make them and basically all you need after that is a stamp so it's not that expensive and it gives you a chance to win uh, some pretty good prizes and I'll be mailing all over the world uh, as I did last time so we just thought it might be something interesting for you guys to know ahead of time and so yeah I will be making the postcards these postcards will be in my Etsy store so if you check down in the description box below you will find the link to my Etsy store and I'll be listing these as the so that they're there for the video and uh, there's also another set of postcards that I haven't shared on video yet uh, using my own um, art which is a little cacti and uh, that's a little bit more expensive because obviously it was handmade and it was watercolored and uh, I also put a bunch of new uh, flowers so you can uh, see those as well because I had not made flowers for a while so those are in my store as well and another thing that I've decided to do as well is my mom was an antique dealer uh, for a very long time and I miss going to thrift stores and getting stuff for for store it was kind of fun and um, I'm trying to wait to find ways of making a little bit of money that I can invest into tools and, and stuff like that for my channel so I thought it'd be fun to uh, purchase a few items and put them on sale so I've got a few um, salt and pepper shakers and I'm gonna be listing them on eBay as well as in my Etsy store and uh, so that you know hopefully um, they will sell so I've got I'm you know gonna have a few items like that that are not necessarily craft related but that I think could be really fun to um, to share and wouldn't cost a fortune to mail out so so that's something new that I'm looking into uh, just so you know so I pulled out this dictionary that I got at the thrift store I got it for a buck 29 and it has some really cool images so I've pulled out a few that I would like to use so I thought I was gonna share these with you guys so I thought of using this goat and I need five images so I thought about using the horse and the little hamster that'd be fun and I use these as page mark and then there's this here this little groundhog so we've got one two three four and then there's a little goldfish here 
obviously I will be using the gold finch and the gold rod in other stuff but for now this is the these are the images that I will be pulling out from this book I pulled out some black cards only part that could possibly damage the postcard but like I said I've mailed them out in the past and nothing has ever ha happened to them they've always been fine so and the last contest I had some people mailed them out as is and they all got here fine totally fine okay so I missed this little corner here okay here we go and then this I'm just going to do with this because it's thick cardstock so put that in there and then So, I could have used the bear, but I honestly like the groundhog better, so I had to go with him. Also thick cardstock, so I'm just gonna use this. I like that. What if light? A little something at the top. I don't know what. And I don't want to add a lot of um, dimension to this because obviously if you want to mail it out you want to be able to mail it out without too much dimensions but oh I've got this here which I think would be perfect yes it's exactly what was missing and this is very flat so it's not gonna cause any issues I really like that like that. Okay, that was the perfect thing. And this was sent, um, this was part of Happy Mail a while ago. Um, because you guys can find them at Dollar Tree. I can't find the nice ones, nice stickers like this at uh, our dollar store. So that really sucks. But anyway, I was lucky that somebody sent these out to me so that I would have a few. And I've just pulled out some more in case I want them for the next card. Okay, so for the next card, I'm going to use a little goat. I want to ruin this tail, so I'm just going to rip a bit but I won't rip where the tail is so it's straight but it really doesn't show that it's straight because the rest is ripped hope I'm making sense so I hope everybody's doing well I'm doing better this week than last week and I'm actually filming this on uh, Saturday which is surprising because usually I'm always last minute there's only one video that I've got ahead, which is the one with the postcard that I made with the cactus that I designed, but I haven't shared that yet with you guys. I'm kind of keeping that one <laughs> as a reserve for if, if there's a time that I don't want to film on the weekend. 
but I should really start using it. I kinda like that bee showing. And I think I'm gonna be putting it this way because I don't want my postcard to be all in the same direction. And I could put it something like this. And in this case I could put a black border to him. Hoping I'm gonna like this. Not totally convinced. But it's gonna be too late once he's stuck. Well. That was my first thought of doing this, so I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to do this and then rip the edge of that. So this is, like I said, just file folders, and you can find file folders really easily, and often in offices, once they've been used and they're a bit dinged up, um, people will just throw them away, and I usually like jump on that chance to grab them. <laughs> I'm that per crazy person, uh, but everybody by now knows that I'm the crazy person that just collects all kinds of scraps from anything. So they're not all that surprised anymore. They're surprised with what I come up with once I've collected that, those things. But okay, so I'm thinking maybe something like that, because this way kind of occupies the space. Because otherwise, it feels kind of empty. So if I do it that way. like so and then I need to for the horse I think I'm gonna use um, excuse me here's your nose I found it in my business I love it he looks like me sarcastic never that's what he looks like why do I say that it's a he? Could be a she. I don't know why I'm saying a he. are so fun and I'm finally using my Tim Holtz sentiments because I've been ordering them a lot so I'm using them more and more now so it's a good thing because it gives me allows me to purchase more because obviously if I don't use the stash that I have then why am I getting any new things right just so hard as I said in the video that I posted for you yesterday which for me is the same day but because you want to play with the new goodies they come out with so many new fun items that you really want to get those new fun items but at the same time it's kind of hard to justify it because uh, you have a big stash if I can use up my stash then then I can justify getting some more of the beautiful things oops that was not too bright told you messy crafter that's me Okay. 
Here we go. I really like this card. I'm really loving how they're turning out. So I'm hoping that you guys are going to love them just as much as I do. And uh, that somebody's going to grab them in my Etsy store. It's always very encouraging when I see that you guys like what I do. Obviously, I can't keep everything, so. Okay, so this one, I think, is going to go like this. Wow, I almost tore that poor horse. That would not have been good. him again. I think I'm going to want to do that. I need to edge him first. Did I edge? Yeah. I've forgotten if I edged edge the, uh, the goat. We get so much so fast these days. It's crazy. I don't know. I think it's me getting older. I just totally like I can totally forget what I've eaten in the morning well not so much in the morning because I always eat the same thing and if I'm at work I always eat the same lunch as well it's always a salad but uh, for supper I tend to forget it's a good thing I do my meal planning and my um, in my obonichi so at least I've got a trace of what we ate in there because otherwise I would totally forget okay so here we go Here and uh, not sure if I'm going to need it. Not sure if I want it or not. Maybe I do. Let's put the sentiment first and then we'll see.
I love it. Oh my god, I love these cards so much. It's so much fun to make. Really, really enjoyable. It's fun to make stuff that, you know, I just enjoy doing and Because sometimes regular cards, the, uh, you know, it's nice making them, but I get tired of making cards all the time. But these, I always find, are really fun. Especially if I put snarky sentiments. Oh my god, I love those so much. So, here we go. So, we've got two left. This chubby little hamster and this beautiful goldfish. edge both of the papers and then I can close my ink before I make more mistakes. this here okay so that so those two are ready should be soon this off put this away so I don't make a boo-boo because -boo, otherwise I'm gonna make a boo-boo for sure I'll end up putting it all over my myself I know it okay so got the two pieces and this I can put away as well so I've got more space so I've got those two Right, so those I could put down already. So at least they're not floating. Okay, 
I forgot to put my glue first. Ah. I didn't put my glue gun first. It's not the ideal. But it will have to do. Okay, so here we go. They're both down. And uh, I'm going to be wanting to put one sideways for sure. Or maybe two sideways. And... put the little heart there or the little yellow one maybe the yellow, yellow one would be cute with the goldfish I'm wondering if I want to edge them in black or do I leave it as it is I kind of like the edging of the black, the black edging. So I think I'm gonna do it again, just because I can, and it feels like they need it. So. So I'll do that. This is a bit too big. More like that. I don't think I'm going to want to do any more on that one. Other than finding the perfect sentiment. the metal it looks kind of old feels appropriate for this okay so I'll glue this down where I want it and now I just need to find my sentiment for this and my sentiment for that I don't know why I put my glue gun away because I'm going to need it. I, I don't need this glue stick, but I need that. Oh well. I like that. I'm sorry, I, did I roll out my, uh, my eyes loud? And there's the shh, no one cares. Hmm. 
I don't know. There's <laughs> this one that's cute. Today was going to be great until people I think I'm going to go with the shh, no one cares. Here's that one, and then this one, I said that I liked, I'm sorry, did I roll my eyes loud? I totally love this set. hear my dog snoring. Okay, and here's the last one. So, and it's upside down, but it's okay. It's how I roll and I'm sure, like, if you put it in a journal anyway, it's not really going to matter because you can put it that way and, and then turn it around to write on it. So here are the five cards. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing me make them. Go and check out in my Etsy store if they're still available. And uh, I hope that you guys all have a fabulous week. And love you. Bye, everyone. <laughs>